Okay, day two after the seventh treatment. Let's see what the drop is today. Less, but still not in control. I'll do a count and put it in the description. You gotta like click on the little hamburger icon in the top to see the description. Also, I'm, I'm testing my port that I put oxalic acid, which has just a little less than a one inch. I'll show you what it is, acceptor. And I, what I'm thinking is it is causing of the uh, Instavap to cool. This is a, uh, it's called a PL259 or UHF RF connector. And this is actually the piece that's in the, uh, in the hive. What I'm going to do is replace that with Teflon. Oops, there it goes. And this has gone solid, so I want to test this really quick. And then also with the Apame front, the people that don't want to cut holes in their Apame, here's just a little piece of Teflon, and I'm going to check that really quick. So this is all the way heated up. Just slide this on and see what happens if it starts melting, because it's got to sit there for 30 seconds. But if it's truly Teflon, yeah, it's holding up. So this is the one that I want to put in the hive. We'll let that go for a minute. We should still be, yeah, we're still all the way hot. So what I'm thinking is the Teflon won't absorb as much heat from this metal tip as, as this uh, little piece. Now that piece still has a little piece of uh, coax braid in it. But uh, that's what I was using, which isn't a whole lot of metal. I'm thinking that just having that on the upper tip, it's absorbing the heat and allowing the crystals to uh, go back to solidify and clog this tube. We've gone uh, 40 something seconds. This is gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the high, press it in. I couldn't find the red RT, the actual like head gasket maker stuff, 500 degree. I did find some high temp RTV. I think it's that is good for uh, 300, or no, I think it's 400. And that's what uh, these run at. What I'm thinking would work in the front of the hive and keep it from, oh, this is so glued. I'm not gonna be able to kill in some bees, but there's the, uh, on the upper le level, there's the drone entrance. I think it's a little bit fatter and it's on the top. And I did a, I did a uh, Apame hot bottom through that. And so when I do that hive, it's not my hive. I don't want to drill holes in it. I'll probably bring that, the clear or the black one, because that's been in there for over 30 seconds.